guys that we have in there, uh, they want to be elite. Everybody wants to be elite. You know, sometimes you know it's just not the place for you. Um, but if it's not the place for you, you gotta go find somewhere else. And that's not a bad thing. I said it's a bad thing, but right. um, you know, those guys from left are definitely gonna go do their thing, and I'm excited to watch what they do and I'm looking for, for sure. Now, like, I'm not sure how familiar you are with KJ's game, but obviously the two of y'all getting up together as great right. safeties out of the state of Georgia. What stands out to you about you know him as a player? Uh, probably just his ability to be around the ball. Uh, you know, he's, I mean, when you watch his film, he's always around the ball. He's always making plays. Um, he has that just in the game. So just to watch that, um, he, he's very, it looks natural. Like, when you watch the game, like, it doesn't look forced. Like, he looks like, he looks comfortable. Um, I mean, so I mean, I'm very excited to get to work with him when he comes in. And, uh, you know, I'm just excited that he chose to come here. So I'm uh, very excited. How many, how many awards dinners did you go to uh, earlier this month? <laughs> did you have two? Um, I had two. Yeah. I had two, yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, what's that like as a sophomore? I mean, you're an All-American this year. Uh, you know, as you look into your third year at Georgia, kind of how do you feel your game is and where do you want to take it? Uh, you know, I, I kind of, I mean, I'm, I'm very grateful and very blessed to be in that position to have those, you know, have be a mention with those guys. Um, you know, but I try not to pay too much attention to it. As far as my game, you know, I, I want to take it to the next level, whether that be, you know, anything and everything really, whether that be, you know, vision, tackling, playing the ball, whatever the case may be, uh, I want to take it to the next level. Do you feel like an All-American when Coach Muschamp is uh, breaking out film with you, or, or does, he, does he tell you what plays that you weren't looking like that? <laughs> yeah, uh... It's mostly the plays that don't look like that, you know, because, um, you know, if, if you never if you never learn from the things that you don't do well, you'll never be able to keep growing. Um, and I think, you know, to our coaching staff, that's, they do a great job with that. You know, they they never want you to sell, they always want you to keep growing. So, I mean, I'm very grateful to be with them because uh, without them, I wouldn't be where I'm at today. So. Where, where do you want to improve your game the most? Um, probably just my knowledge. Uh, really understanding the game of football. Um, like I said earlier this year, I've been really trying to do that a lot. Um, and I think I have for the most part, but it's always not going on. So I'm just, I'm very excited to see what I can go into. Being in that, you know, third year role, you know, before too long, how does your role change, you know, kind of as a teacher, somebody that knows that defense as well as uh, you do? Um, I say more vocal, you know. Uh, I, I tend to lead by example more. Um, I speak up when I have to, but uh, I think coming into that third year, um, being more vocal, uh, just, you know, being that leader, being one of the older guys, which is crazy because I just got here. Uh, but, you know, just being one of the older guys in the room, uh, just being able to speak up. Uh, we're going to switch to the other side. Okay. So, Kamari's a guy, been mentioned as a person, possible first round pick, and yet he's choosing to play in this game. Just as a teammate, what does that mean to you to see him and have him out there? I mean, it means a lot. You know, the connection I got with three, uh, the ball I built since I've been here, he's my brother. So, mm -hmm. just, uh, for him to come back and play his last game, because I never know when I'm going to get to play with him again. So, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm very grateful, very blessed. Um, and like you said, I mean, he's very, very talented. Um, going to be a hot pick, so I'm just excited. Yeah, I, I mean, in media settings, he seems very calm, very measured. And then when he gets in the field, just slapping his helmet, making yeah. plays and things like that. Just when he's on the field, what is his sort of mentality? And, and when you see him in practice, just is that similar to what he does right. when he's on the field? Um, yeah, I mean, I mean, he's the same. You know, when you put on that helmet, uh, he flips the switch. Um, I wouldn't even say flips the switch. You know, he's kind of always like that. Uh, but he has no fear. Uh, he has no fear, and you know he's very competitive. You know, as a guy that's like on that same level, you know, I love it. Uh, that's that's exactly the guy I want to be on my side. So uh, just being able to play with him uh, this last couple of years, I've been very grateful. Okay. I was just gonna ask. Uh, I think your, your mom tweeted out that she had a little bad COVID. Is she gonna be able to make the trip here? Uh, no. Uh, my mom's gonna be at home. So is my dad. Uh, which is okay. Uh, you know, it was. It wasn't really expected. Um, but uh, you know, she's uh, she's feeling better, so that's good. So I told him just to don't worry, don't even worry about it, just stay. Thank you. Brock Bowers, the guy probably moving on to the NFL, uh, getting to practice against him, getting to play against him. How has doing that made you a better player? Um, you know, uh, I don't. I think if you don't go against the elite, you can't be elite. Mm -hmm. uh, so just being able to, uh, you know, go against him on a day-to-day -day basis. Mm -hmm. Uh, really test my game and see where I'm at. And for me, be able to test his game, you know, at the end of the day, I make him better, he makes me better. So just to have the opportunity within the last two years, especially when I got here, um, you, know, uh, you know, I'm very grateful.
And, and then Jalen Walker, a guy you came in, a guy you're close with. You know, he's had to put on and wear a bunch of different hats, practicing against that linebacker, playing uh, interest. How have you seen him grow and develop? As a uh, I think his ability to adapt uh, has, has changed tremendously. Uh, like you say, he's been running around a lot. And just being able to, uh, you know, learn and grow and still be that, like, vocal guy, uh, you know, it's, I mean, it's very hard to do, and he's doing a very good job with it. So I think and I think it also speaks to his ability to be able to move around and uh, to place him anywhere. Awesome. Thanks, man. Yes,